Hey dolls! So today for you I have my crystal collection. I'm deciding to film this outside just so you guys can see a little bit more the true colors of each individual stone. Here's an overlay of everything that I have with me right now in my collection and with that let's go ahead and get started and I will show you each and every one of these little beauties up close and in depth. One thing I want to mention before I get into actually showing you guys the crystals is this book right here. This is called The Crystal Bible. I have been into crystals for quite a few years now. I want to say about maybe four or five years. Uh, I just recently got back into collecting them, but I've been using them for quite some time now for crystal healing and spiritual healing, meditation, things like that. Uh, but I did decide to finally invest in the Crystal Bible. This is by Judy Hall, and this is if you are a beginner, if you are intermediate, if you are a professional, this is a staple to have. It goes through and talks about the healing properties and attributes and and all kinds of things about so many so many so many crystals the first edition the the volume one um, is actually just like the basic most common crystals I personally believe but I did also find a listing on Amazon to where you could get all three Bibles for a really good deal so not just the one now I have the two and three also so these have a little bit different more rare crystals in them which is really cool so there's literally thousands of crystals in here that is absolutely amazing here is number three I'll flip through really quick for you guys it is absolutely amazing. I love that there is like a glossary in the very beginning with all of the crystal names so you can just find the page, flip right to it and see how it is recommended to use during healing and like I said, what the properties are. So I definitely recommend these Bibles. I will leave the Amazon link down below to get all three of these. I will also go ahead and include a link down below that has just the first Bible just so you can get a feel for what it's like and if you want to just add it to your collection to get started. So we are first going to start out with quartz. I have some clear quartz here and here. Most all of my crystals that I get I either have gotten at crystal shops where I go in person or I will get them from Etsy sellers or sometimes accounts on Instagram when they are doing live sales or flash sales on their accounts. So definitely check out Instagram for uh, crystal sales as well as Etsy. Quartz is amazing because it's like the most powerful healing and uh, energy amplifiers. Quartz is definitely one of the biggest staples in any crystal collection. It is a must-have along with amethyst. It is an amplifier, meaning that it will amplify the energies from other crystals used with it, uh, which is so cool. You can really boost the energies and the healings from other crystals using quartz as well. So I have just this cute little nugget right here is just a clear quartz and then I also have this kind of more chunky cluster that just looks like that the other quartz that I have are actually rose quartz and this chunky one right here is as you can tell my biggest crystal in my collection I got an awesome steal on this guy at a crystal shop and I absolutely love it so much. Rose quartz is wonderful for your heart chakra. It purifies and opens the heart to bring in some deep inner healing and self-love. So I call this the love stone. So if you just need a little bit of loving in your life, rose quartz is the way to go. I love that this one has a little flat bottom and can stand on its own. Very pretty. You can also see right here, I do have a rose quartz bracelet. You guys always comment in my videos asking me where I got this. This one I actually got at a crystal shop as well. Um, it, it was just a little beaded bracelet, but they have these all over Etsy and like I said, Instagram crystal pages. 
And then I also have this little one right here. This is one that I like to carry in my purse sometimes. Uh, when I do want to take a crystal with me, usually I take one with me every time I go somewhere. And this is one that fits a little bit better in my purse. And even better yet, I also have this tiny, tiny, if I can even pick it up, this tiny, tiny little one right here. It's flat back and it is rounded on the front. I actually got this free with one of my purchases at uh, a local crystal shop. Now another quartz that I have is actually this one right here. I believe this is a sort of angel aura quartz. Um, this one is really pretty. Obviously this is not the natural stone. It has been colored like this by a human. <laughs> Um, but the structure itself is like the natural shape of it, which I think is really, really neat. This is one of my most expensive crystals, actually. And I actually have two more quartz to show you guys. This one right here is a titanium spirit quartz. So again, this is the natural cluster um, as far as the shape goes, but it has been drenched with titanium to give it that really cool oil slick uh, reflex, which is really, really pretty. I am absolutely in love with this one. This one was a little expensive too. Not too bad, really, but it's definitely uh, one that is very fun to look at. And the last type of quartz that I have right here, this is actually rutilated quartz. And you can see there are some imperfections on this one, which some of them you'll see have those little, kind of like, they look like dirt spots. Um, I actually really like crystals that have those because it just shows like, it just gives them such more of a natural feel. Like it makes me feel like they're still part of the earth within them, uh, which is really, really cool, especially during the healing process. You can see there's some reflex of yellow in here. Rutilated quartz promotes spiritual growth and uh, contact with the highest spiritual guidance. I've also heard that it is associated with the angel realm and it filters negative energies and supports your energy field. It also has been known to relieve fears, phobias, anxiety, and depression. I've heard that this is a wonderful stone to use when dealing with depression. Now, as mentioned before, we have amethyst, which is an extremely powerful and protective stone. It helps with dispelling anger, rage, fear, and anxiety. Uh, it also stimulates your third eye. And what I like to do with amethyst a lot is sleep with it either under my pillow, obviously not this big chunk. Uh, I like to either sleep with it under my pillow or next to my bed. And I feel like it promotes a lot better sleep at night. So this is a big cluster that I got from a local crystal shop. It is very pretty. I love these. I love amethyst because it's overall such like an amazing stone to have. Like it's a must in every collector's collection. Uh, but it's also very accessible and readily available. And it's very affordable as well. So if you need some starter stones, definitely check out amethyst and quartz. And again, you can see some of those, what I call dirt spots, just to give it that more natural feel. I have another little amethyst here. This one is just a little raw nugget like the other ones that I showed of the rose quartz. Very cute. And then I recently got this one off of Etsy from an Etsy seller and this one is perfect to throw in your purse. I love the tumbled stones to throw in your bag and to kind of rub when you are going through it and just need a little bit of uh, reassurance and calming vibes. So definitely love amethyst. Next up we have calcite and we have green, orange, and blue calcite. So I have all three of these guys right here. Calcite is an amplifier and a cleanser. It helps heighten energy and boosts your motivation. So uh, blue calcite is wonderful for the throat chakra. Uh, it aids with communication and it helps to dissolve pain. It's also a really soothing stone that helps with anxiety. Next we have green calcite and it is wonderful for the heart chakra. 
It is a mental healer. It also helps restore balance to your mind and it aids in transition from stagnant situations to positive ones. So this is a really good one to carry around with you when you go out as well. Make sure you can actually see it. There you go. I really love raw stones a lot. You'll see quite a few of those in my collection. And then my orange calcite is actually a little tumbled stone. By the way, I got all of these from an Etsy seller, these calcites. Uh, this one is best for your lower chakras and it's highly energizing and a cleansing stone. It also helps with balancing your emotions. Real quick, I did want to mention that obviously these stones have other properties to them. There are other things that they help with. There's physical, there's mental, there's so many different things that these stones help with. I'm just grazing over a few of their characteristics, but I definitely, like I said, recommend looking into getting the Bible because it goes into depth. And also you can just Google and look up online or rent books from your local library about crystals. And that will give you even some more ideas of the characteristics for each individual stone. I also forgot to mention that I do have a another calcite here and this one I actually got from a crystal shop. I love pink calcite so much. I think it's one of my favorite stones. This one is so smooth and the, it's so faint. It's probably going to be coming off white on camera, but it is very pink. And the cool thing about pink calcite is it is UV reactive. So you can shine a black light on it and it will just make it look so, so pretty and neat. This is probably one of my favorite crystals I have just by like the looks of it. It's really cool. Um, it is a heart crystal in contact with the angel realm. So kind of like the uh, rutilated course that we mentioned earlier, this one, you can get in touch with your angels. Um, it also releases fear and grief that have kept the heart trapped in the past. And I wanted to mention this in here, but this one is said to be very helpful uh, to those who have suffered from trauma or even assault. Moving on, we have turquoise. I relate to the blue stones a lot because I am Sagittarius. My my sign is the Sagittarius. So I, I relate a lot to the blue stones and I feel like those are the ones that I feel the biggest energy from when I'm using them or when I'm holding them. Uh, turquoise enhances your communication. It's also great for exhaustion, depression, and panic attacks. So this is another one that I, I really love holding on to. And as you can see, this one is just a cute little tumbled stone. And similar to that one, we have Chrysocolla. Chrysocolla is very similar to turquoise in that it is the blue and it has similar attributes to it. Um, but as you can see, this one is a lot richer in color. And this one, it helps meditation and communication. It calms, cleanses, and re-energizes all of the chakras. It also promotes uh, truth telling and alleviates guilt while bringing you joy, so. Yes, I love Chrysocolla as well. It's such a beautiful, unique stone. Next up, we have Amazonite. This one is one of the prettiest colors, in my opinion. It's just like a light teal, like a pastel teal color, kind of. Um, Amazonite opens the heart and throat chakras, and it is an extremely soothing stone. It dispels negative energies and aggravation. And the cool thing about this one is it also helps soothe trauma while alleviating uh, worry and fear. Amazonite is a wonderful one as well. Then we have Aventurine, and this one is very pretty. This is just a little like spirit animal tumbled palm stone that I got off of Etsy years and years ago. This was one of my first crystals, and it is a little wolf spirit animal stone. Uh, I love carrying this one with me in my pocket or in my purse. Aventurine is great for pro prosperity. Uh, it reinforces leadership qualities and promotes the feeling of well-being while also promoting compassion and encourages perseverance. So this one is great if you just need a little boost in uh, motivation. I love this one. And also uh, helping boost those leadership capabilities. I need that a lot because I tend to uh, be very timid and shy away in the corner. Next up, we have Moonstone. And I just have this raw one right here. Uh, 
Moonstone calms emotions drastically. It is strongly connected to the moon, as its name suggests. It is filled with a receptive, passive, feminine energy. So it really helps to balance the male and female energies, and it aids men who want to get in touch with their feminine side. So this is definitely a very feminine stone, and I connect with this one a lot when I'm going through my menstrual cycle. Uh, it also has been said to help alleviate cramping and PMS symptoms. So this is definitely one that I keep by my bedside table when uh, it's that time of the month. <laughs> Another very strong feminine stone is the blood stone. Uh, this is an excellent blood cleanser and powerful healer. It gives you courage and dispels confusion and enhances decision making processes and again this is another one that i really like to use during uh, that time of the month this bloodstone if you aren't familiar with it it's really neat it's actually like a green color but there are little blood colored splatters throughout it um, sometimes they're very faint and you can barely see them especially in different lighting but uh, a lot of the times there's uh, huge splatters um, I think in some of the African bloodstones that I've seen there are huge blood splatters which is really really cool again it's not real blood it's just the way that the rock itself develops which is so fascinating to me we have hematite uh, this one right here is really sparkly I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera but this one actually has some sparkle in it hematite seems to have a lot of natural shimmer which is really really cool uh, this one supports timid women so if you're shy and need a confidence booster this one is a great one to help with that. It also helps remove like self limitations and aids with expansion. It's also very useful when overcoming compulsions and addictions while enhancing your memory. So this one's a great one to have as well to uh, maybe aid with uh, breaking bad habits even. Another dark stone I have is magnetite, and as the name suggests, it actually is magnetic. You'll see magnetite bracelets and necklaces. People will magnetize them to each other and wear them. It has powerful positive-negative polarity. Uh, it also helps aid with meditation and visualization, and it attracts love, commitment, and loyalty. So this one is really great as well. Next down the list, we have opal or opalite. And for this one, I just have a small little tumbled stone. This one I also got from a local shop. Opal is very delicate. It enhances self-worth to recognize your full potential. It's also associated with love and passion, and it really just strengthens the will to live which who doesn't want that? That's an amazing stone. I love opal. It's also very versatile. It is a very common jewelry stone or a very common stone found in jewelry. Um, definitely a favorite. This is one of my mom's favorites actually. Okay, and then I also have pink opal. Opal comes in a lot of different forms. There's fire opal, and there is pink opal, and quite a few others. Um, but this one is a raw form of pink opal, which I think is very cool. I love seeing just the natural colors poke out of there. Very, very cool. I love this one. Got this from uh, a local shop as well, I believe. I think I only have three left to show you guys uh, other than my selenite stick right here. Uh, let me mention that really quick. Selenite is an amazing thing to have because you can set your crystals on a plate similar to this uh, to charge. They also make selenite wands. I've seen on Etsy and in shops that you can use during your actual meditation and healing processes. Uh, but I just have this little plate right here that I set my crystals on to charge once they've been cleansed. And again, I got this from a local shop as well. And again, it just helps cleanse and clear all the energy. So this one is wonderful to uh, give your crystals a, a new little charge. 
back here, I know you guys have probably been eyeballing this one. This is just a pink geode, and I don't really know anything about this. I don't know what stone it is. I don't really know anything. I just know that it's a geode because the shop that I got it from, the basket that it was in, it was in there with some pink, purple, and blue ones, and all it said was colored geodes. That's all it said on the basket, and I didn't ask about it, um, but it is very pretty. You can see that it was definitely hand colored, hand painted, um, but it is very gorgeous. I love seeing the little cave in there. It's so cool. I just had to have it even though I wasn't really quite sure what it was. So if you guys have any information on this little guy, please let me know in the comments. So one of my most recent favorite crystals is actually Kunzite, uh, K-U-N-Z-I-T-E, I think is how it's pronounced. This is a very spiritual stone with high vibration, uh, radiates peace and connects you to universal love. So it is great for the heart chakra. Uh, it enhances creativity and has power to combine intellect, intuition, and inspiration. I also love that this one helps heal heartbreak and removes like emotional debris. And this is another stone that is absolutely wonderful uh, for depression. I love Kunsight because of the pinky purple hue. This one is raw, so it is like very like white looking in certain lighting, uh, but it's definitely on the pink side and can be used as a heart chakra stone has easily become one of my new favorites and I am looking to get my hands on a big palm stone of Kunsight so hopefully I can manage to find that. Another stone, the very last one that I have to show you guys that has easily become one of my ultimate ultimate favorites. I think this one just gives me good vibrations. This one just every time I pick it up it gives me good energy. I feel good about it. It's definitely not the prettiest stone um, but it is still very unique and I just feel something with this and this is blue lace agate. It is a very cooling and calming stone. It brings peace of mind which if you're someone who deals with very aggressive <laughs> and chronic anxiety this stone is wonderful. It has helped me so much. I just really want to get a bigger one because I find that the size of this one is a little tiny and when I have it out in public or in my purse and I'm like rubbing it in the car, it tends to slip out from my fingers and I've almost lost it a couple times. So I definitely want to get a bigger maybe palm stone of this because this is definitely one that I have taken with me almost every time I go out. I find it hard to take just one stone with me because I always feel like I need to bring this one too. And I just, ugh, I love it so much. It's just so good. This one just helps keep me in check and keep me calm and I absolutely love it. And look at those lines. Blue Lace has like such a unique like feel about it also. So yes, that is actually my crystal collection. I also do have a Himalayan salt lamp. Uh, it's fairly large. I can maybe try and link it in the description box down below. I didn't include it in this video because it's really big. I'm filming outside and technically it's a salt lamp. It's not really crystal. So I did not include that, but I will include the link to where I got that. So if you wanna look a little bit further into that, you definitely can. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's wonderful during meditation and just to give like a nice calm ambiance during the night when you're getting ready for bed. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite crystal is that you've ever used uh, in healing, whether it's the prettiest one that you have or the one that you have found that is most beneficial to you. Also, let me know what your favorite crystal was in this video that I showed. Um, definitely check out Etsy for crystals as well as, as mentioned before, Instagram shops. There are, you can literally just type in crystal sales as a hashtag and so many different accounts will pop up that do crystal sales. Um, so yes, I actually do have a couple more pieces that are coming in the mail to me very soon. So I will have to do an updated one of these eventually, especially because I'm I maybe might have ordered one of my ultimate dream pieces that I've been eyeballing for quite some time now. 
I may have finally caved and ordered that and it will be coming to me. Uh, I'll probably be posting it on my Instagram page, so be sure to follow me there, Amanda31409, same as my YouTube channel. Let me know what you thought of this video and if you want to see another crystal collection when I get more. And yes, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye.